Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gemma and today we're going to be discussing will we be getting baby dinosaurs in prehistoric kingdom? Now, there is a lot of speculation about this. It has not been confirmed or denied. However, what I have done is I've scoured the internet and I've found some pictures of potential artwork for baby dinosaurs and we know that prehistoric kingdom do have different generations of the dinosaurs so from the young to the adolescent dinosaurs and then we have the adult ones as well which we do see in game just now so these are all adult dinosaurs that you will see on screen i am curious to find out will we be getting baby dinosaurs and i think we should because let's face it it'd be cute as heck and it would just add a different dynamic to Prehistoric Kingdom and the gameplay of it. And thinking of the gameplay, how would this work? I would like to think that because we have our animal nursery, this is obviously the area that you breed your dinosaurs. There is a skill bar in the nursery, which I think you can alter depending on the generation that you want to select. Again, because it's an alpha, I can't confirm that. Maybe we'll get something like this in beta, but it'd be really interesting to see how this works. And also, it's not only the dinosaur that this should affect, as we have seen some baby mammals. So let's go away and take a look at the reference images that I found. So first up here, we have our mammoth family. So we've got our adult in the background there, and then we've got two younger mammoths in the front. They look super cute. It totally reminds me of Ice Age, and uh, it's just really nice to see different variations of uh, the animals that we're potentially going to be getting. So there we go. First one up, woolly mammoths. So following on from the Ice Age theme, we have the saber-toothed cat here, or the Smilodon. So again, we've got the adult, the adolescent, and the infant, and you can see the difference between all three rigs there, with the, the infant obviously not having its teeth come through. Very small, very cute. Uh, these are going to be super adorable, honestly. I think I'm going to lose it if we, <laughs> we actually get these in game. And then the adolescent there, you can see its teeth are slightly grown a little bit more. Not so much muscle mass in that one. And then your final one is your adult. Look at those paws, those are massive. And again, and those 28 centimeter fangs just protruding like the mouth there. So yeah, smile it on. Gorgeous. Okay, next we have a Paraseraphium. These are awesome. One of the largest mammals, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I am um, paraphrasing from good old Google. So yeah, we see the infant, the adolescent and the adult once again. Slightly skin variations on them. You can see certainly the difference between the adolescent and the adult with the textures. Also slightly more wrinkly on the adult as you, you would expect. But yeah, gorgeous nonetheless. Next we have the Megatherium, which is known as the Great Beast from America, which is related to our sloth friends. So yeah, we can see again we've got the adult, adolescent and infant. I think the infant is super cute as you would expect. Look at those big massive paws. They are just insane. Absolutely love them. I think these are going to be a really great addition to anyone's park. Next up we have the Deodon. So I have just been researching these guys and they're like the equivalent to a Terminator pig. They are super aggressive and I am so interested to find out how these are going to work in your, your park, in your zoo. But regardless, here is the three variations. So yeah, I'm actually terrified of them. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. They are super aggressive. So yeah, I don't, I, 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 I'm lost for words. I, I can't comment on them anymore until we actually have them in game. Yeah. Moving on. Oh, hyena dog, my little friend. So previously we saw the diodon. Um, let me just tell you that they, they made these guys extinct. This is why they're super aggressive. Obviously, there's other reasons why animals get extinct, but yeah, that's for a different video. Back to the, the cuteness of the animals. Look at that tongue. Look at that little tongue just poking out its, its side of its mouth. Absolutely gorgeous. These remind me of my dog. So I have a dog, he is a gold lab and he's called Farley. And I have a picture of Farley with his tongue poking out just like that. Hyena Dawn, yeah, honestly. I, the problem with me is when I see like pictures of 
different mammals and dinosaurs. I want to have an absolutely rant about like, you know, what they are all about and, and all that goodness. But yeah, another video, Gemma. This focus, this is for babies. For the babies! Next up, we've got Boss, which is a giant bison. So you can see we've got the infant, adolescent and adult. There is such a huge difference between these three models. It kind of is what you would expect them to look like. So you got the infant there, very playful. I love how it's got like a little goatee thing on the front there. Or is that the... No, is that the... Wait, that's not goatee. That's the adolescent's tail, right? Is that right? I think that's right. Because none of, <laughs> none of the other ones have a goatee. I don't know if that's even called a goatee. It'd be hilarious if it did though. I mean, just imagine that, this infant like coming out with this full grown goatee, but as it gets older, the goatee just, um... well, it's not a goatee, it's more of a beard. It just starts to shrink and get smaller, kind of like Benjamin Button, really. There you go, infant, adolescent and adult. The horns are crazy on this, this model. I'm really interested to have these majestic beasts in our park. Okay, so now we're moving on to some dinosaurs here. So, Parasaurophilus. I always struggle to say the name. Parasaur... no, Parasaurophilus. It's the middle of the, the name. It just doesn't roll off my tongue very well. Once again, once again for the video. Parasaur... nope. <laughs> Parasaurophilus. Um, I've just absolutely butchered this name. So, you guys can see what it is on the screen. I'm going to have to give it a, a nickname. Well, maybe just call it Para. Parasaur. Parasaur. Nope. Anyway, infant, adolescent, adult. The infant looks... It just needs a little bit of a cuddle, to be fair. Like, it looks so vulnerable. Its little face. I want to make a sound for it as well, but I won't do that because we'll leave that to Prehistoric Kingdom to to come up with the sounds for the, the dinosaurs. Yeah, just an awesome looking family there. We are obviously getting the parasol rough. Nope. <laughs> We're getting this animal for beta. Please don't make me do a habitat build for them. I can't wait to do a species build actually. I think every time that they're on screen and I have to talk about them, I might just get someone else saying the word and I'll just press a little button and it'll be like, Hey guys, today we're doing a, a build for the press button and it'll be like, Parasaurophilus! Oh wait, that was quite good! Oh gosh. Let's move on, shall we? Lambiosaurus, so an animal we actually have in Alpha right now. So the infant doesn't have its crest, which is so cute. I just love that. I love the fact that throughout the whole generations, they're going to just change ever so slightly. So you can see in adolescent, its crest is starting to form. And then obviously as an adult, they're bold, standing out. I am super excited to get infants. I think they are just, oh my gosh. Because, like, I know how big the Lambiosaurus is. So imagine just having a tiny little version just running about. And hopefully it doesn't get stampled on. Oh, stampled on? Is that a word? Stampeded on? Stood on? You guys know what I'm talking about. Ankylosaurus. Also, I like to pronounce it Ankylosaurus because it makes me think of Kylo Ren from Star Wars. Which one you want to take? Ankylosaurus? Ankylosaurus? potato potato i might just switch it up every now and then but anyway these are majestic they are an absolute tank offense and defense i absolutely cannot wait for them to be in game my favorite dinosaur is the dilophosaurus but this probably is going to be my second favorite look at the rigs they are absolutely fantastic the color variation in these Prehistoric Kingdom, please just give me all the baby dinosaurs. I, uh, their face, look at their face, look at the little infant's face. Again, when I see pictures of these dinosaurs, I can just imagine what they sound like and I really want to do the sounds, but I'm just going to embarrass myself even more because we have learned throughout this video, I can't pronounce anything for to save myself. I was about to swear there, but I thought I, I better not. I can't pronounce things for quack which is what I usually do when I want to swear. But anyway, Ankylosaurus, Ankylosaurus. Super excited. Here's another one, Diplodocus. 
the Plodocus. It's all the same. It's not. It does sound different. But I don't know if it's because a regional dialect or whatever we'll want to call it. But I don't know what you guys w would pronounce this. Diplodocus? Diplodocus? I'm going to say Diplodocus because I'm pretty sure my husband's corrected me on this a few times. So it's now imprinted into my brain. The first one's incorrect. The second one's correct. But um, again, I might change it up. Anyway, this is the Diplodocus, Diplodocus. She is an absolute beast. I love it. I love the infant... The, it, it's kind of fascinating to me the colours that their tail has, has got this like white and black markings on it but their actual body is more of a distinct colour. Again, you can see throughout the, the neck there you've got some markings as well. I don't think this is necessarily how they're going to turn out to look like. I just really like seeing the size variations. So yeah, Plodocus or Diplodocus. <laughs> Edmontosaurus, one of my favourite dinosaurs in Alpha. That is incorrect. I would probably say my favourite Alpha dinosaur is the Lambiosaurus because of the sound that they make. The Lambiosaurus reminds me of Chewie from Star Wars. This is the second time I've mentioned Star Wars in this video. Am I a fan? Well, well yes I am. The one thing that I love about this picture is the baby Edmontosaurus is turning away from the, the adults there. He's like, or she, is like, I don't want to be in this photo. I don't want to be with you guys. It's a bit cheeky, but I think it's it's quite realistic to a little family portrait there. That's all I have to say about that. Pack your rhinosaurus. Shut the front door, kids. Look how incredibly cute that infant is. It's sitting down. It's just super cute. The adolescent, which I always think is the mama, is like looking over it. Probably maybe a cousin or brother. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think these are amazing. Also, we have the, the woolier version, which we don't see right now. Oh, I just want to give it a little cuddle. Edmontonia there. So we've got infant, adolescent and adult. You can see that the colour variation is there as well. The markings look pretty similar through the face and the, the body and the spikes. Again, I think as they grow up, they're probably going to become more dominant. But yeah, very interesting looking dinosaur, that's for sure. Have nothing else to say about this one, to be honest. Next up, we have the Maragaya, which is part of the Stegosaurus family. And there is a little family in front of us. Again, with this one, you can't really tell much of what's going on. You can see within the infant there that the spikes are a lot smaller as you'd expect. And then as you go to the adolescent and then to the adult, there is a slight colored variation as well within the skin tone. However, we know that we're going to have that. All of the skin tone in Prehistoric Kingdom is slightly different. So you may have a herd of dinosaurs and each one of them, even if they are all adults, each one is going to be slightly different skin tone. So that's one to look forward to. Coelophysis, not one of my favourite dinosaurs to be honest, but you can see the difference between the three models there. I don't know what's going on with the adult. It looks like it's got weird eyelashes, kind of feathers, I don't know. It's... What is that around the eye? I'm really curious to find out because there's not that on the rest of the models. So yeah, not entirely sure what's going on there. I'm just not a fan of the seal of Isis. I might be when we get them in game, so who knows? There we go. There is it. It's the ultimate dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus. I am going to lose my absolute noggin, which means head when we get this. I just cannot wait. I just love the Dilophosaurus. Everything about it. I've done a habitat build for them. If we get infant Dilophosaurus, I will just... I, I can't. I can't. They're, no, no. Let's move on because I'm going to freak out. Baryonyx. What a dinosaur. I absolutely love the Baryonyx, to be fair. You can see the difference between the adult and the adolescent there with the crest on the, the ridge. A bit more prominent on the adult and obviously the infant doesn't have it. I think they just look awesome. This is one of those dinosaurs that I'm really, really excited for. I just cannot wait to have them in game. There's a slight shape difference as well. But again, I think that's maybe 
just because of the, the colouring in the skin textures as well. Love it. Carnotaurus, what a dinosaur. I really love these dinosaurs. I think they are really fascinating. This is kind of a bit funny. I, I guess it's just because these are all concept art, but what is going on with those hands? I mean, they just look like little wee stumps. Again, I appreciate this is concept art. This is not actually what the proper rigs are going to look like but it just does really make me chuckle a bit. And also, the infant don't have the, the famous horns on them, which make it a Carnotaurus. Next up, we have the Ancrocarosaurus. So the only thing I can kind of really point out with this is the difference in skin textures and the tones of colour. With the adult being a little bit more brighter and it's got the red ridges around the, the eyes. I think the adolescent, again, this could be all down to different skin textures and just because of the evolution of the different ages. Yeah. Yeah, really nice to see different concept arts of what we could potentially be getting. Utah Raptor. You know it's a raptor because look at that claw. Absolutely awesome. So again, we've got the three different variations here. You can see the different in textures. Once again, I would definitely say that adult looks a bit more defined, but looking at that infant just looks like it's going to have an absolute ball. This is a kind of dinosaur that you would see and you just know that it's up to mischievous. You just know it's going to get in, into trouble or, or tries to escape quite a lot. I'm not sure if it does, but we can certainly look at the stats of uh, dinosaurs in another video. If that's interest to anyone, let me know. Allosaurus, we are actually coming up to the end. We've got one more dinosaur to take a look at. And I wonder if you know what's going to come up. But yeah, the Allosaurus here, the infant looks very cute. You can see that the texture on the skin is so prominent. And then it kind of gets a little bit lost when it gets slightly older there. The adult looks absolutely insane. I love the strong colours in the face. It's going to be a really great dinosaur. Shall we see what's our last dinosaur then? There we go, it's the Mac Daddy of them all. It is the Tyrannosaurus. So you can see the three different species variation there. I do wonder if we are going to get both species for the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Batar, which I would imagine we would. And because the only difference between the two species is size, so I can imagine that there might be a slight scale towards the infant Batar compared to the Rex but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. This looks fantastic. I mean, you can see how far Prehistoric Kingdom has come along because we obviously have the Tyrannosaur in Alpha just now. It's not far off with the, the textures of the skin, especially the tail. The tail is definitely what we see in Alpha right now. I would love to have an infant T-Rex. I just think it's crazy. The only thing I'm very curious about with this is... In a paddock, you can have one or two Tyrannosaurus. And I just think, where does this kind of fit into having an infant or an adolescent? Do you potentially have to have a separate enclosure? And also, I honestly, I have so many questions. For instance, how are we going to get these dinosaurs? Can you breed dinosaurs? Or is it more to do with what you would see in like Jurassic Park, where you have to use DNA to then create these dinosaurs. It's really interesting because in one sense, I would love to be able to see having two dinosaurs, a male and a female, and maybe not necessarily in the magic of Planet Zoo, where they, they mate and then suddenly out of nowhere, there's a, a baby T-Rex just spawns. There's something about that that is amazing but also the magic of the spawning is a bit ridiculous, to be fair. I mean, I would like to see it if you did have a male and a female Tyrannosaurus and they got jiggy. It may be that Tyrannosaurus, the female, has to be separated from the male or has to be looked after. And then when they are about to give birth, it would be awesome if someone came to scoop them up and took them to a different part of your zoo. They then gave birth then. And I mean, you don't necessarily have to see that as an animation. I just think it'd be nice if you knew this dinosaur went into labor and you had to send your crew out to go make sure it was okay. And then from that point, you'd have a notification popping up saying you have a baby T-Rex. And then from there, you would decide, do you A, put it back in your paddock with the other T-Rex, knowing that you can only have 
a maximum of two T-Rexes in one enclosure? Or do they kind of just bat an eyelid because it's a baby T-Rex? So many questions. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I have really enjoyed making it. I really like talking about dinosaurs. It's something that I'm extremely passionate about. I would love to do more videos like this. Please let me know if that's something that you're interested in. We can look at the evolution of dinosaurs individually. We can look at in-game stats, although they're probably going to change. Just anything to do with Prehistoric Kingdom. If you've not already subscribed and you do like this kind of content, then please do consider doing so. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.